So first of all, uh, this port wallet I've had for almost four years, um, probably a little bit more than four years. It's one of my first purchases from Craft and Lore, and I'm about to retire it with something new. So we'll get into the unboxing in just a little bit. I also got uh, this from Craft and Lore. It's a natural tan leather. I haven't used it as much, um, but this is a notebook with a couple of card carriers, and that's one. And this one, interestingly, I still write checks, and so this is the limited edition checkbook writing. It's got my checks. I won't show it because it has my account numbers, but my checks go here, notebook and a pen. Uh, this one's useful for the few occasions where I do need to write a paper check nowadays. So let's get into the unboxing. Okay, let's open it. So the Craft and Lore uh, wallet comes in this little mailer box. It says the adventure starts here. Really nice packaging. So shout out to the guys for putting together some really nice packaging. And there it is. Now I love that all the products always come in these little nice little bags. So let's pop it out. And I actually got the Ghost. Uh, let's see. If it... Okay. So this is the Ghost leather. I think there's wax. It's natural leather. Veg tan leather, of course. White stitching here. Let's see if it's changed since they created it. It's about the same size. This one's shrunk probably a little bit. Uh, let's check the stitching. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so their design has not changed in four years. Uh, let's see. They burnish the edges. I think, look at that. Mine's been much more kind of burnished in over time. It's stiff. This one is broken in over four years, of course, and so this is a little stiff. And uh, I'm excited because this one's got a patina quite differently than this one. And so let's uh, take a look at the different angles and let's take a uh, look on their card a little bit. Port wall is a minimal design. I think put in as few cards as you can. Um, let's see. Patina process. Maintenance is pretty simple. Apply a little bit of uh, leather balm every once in a while. i got to be honest, like with this one, I've done it once in the four years. And that was probably one time I didn't need to at all. Like, so this thing handles really well. The more you handle it, the better. And so let's go to a little overhead and get into a little bit more detail. And we're going to do a little more side-by-side -side detail comparison. Again, this one is a little more than... Okay, again, we're going to do a little bit more detailed side-by-side -side comparison. This one is a little more than four years old. And you'll notice how supple the leather is. It's incredibly soft. This thing is just falling apart. Although it's thick layers. Let's look at one, two, three, four, five layers, the way that it's wrapped design. So this thickest part is five layers of leather thick. And this one, it's creaky. So with new leather, you get that creaky sound. This one has no more creak. It has been worn out completely. Flipping over on the back side over here. So a little difference that I've seen is uh, in the past, there was no label, uh, logo in the front. This one has a logo with their hammer. And in the back, I think this is the old Craft and Lore. You can barely see it now. It's worn out. Um, logo with the little axe there, nothing here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to load it up the way I normally would. Okay, I'm just going to avoid showing some of my personal cards here, but I got about one, two, three, four, five cards that I carry around and I normally slip them in this little slot here. Now it's going to be tight. So the part of getting a new wallet is this is going to take a while to kind of break in. Whereas if you take a look at this wallet here, you know, it slips in, slips out. So this one is great. Took a long time to get to that patina point, but there it is. In the back, I normally carry my fairy card and my Apple card. So I'll put it there. And a shout out to the Apple card is there's no, uh, no credit card number there. So nothing for you to steal. Flip out in front over here, 
Uh, sometimes I'll carry just another credit card. So I'll slip it here. Ooh, let's flip a online flex with a couple Benjamins in this little slot right here. So that's how I would carry this card. Uh, and that's how I was carrying this before. This feels tight. It's going to take a long time to break in. But um, I'll see you in a couple years and we'll do a follow up patina review. And so one thing I'm going to do is I will be selling this wallet here. So if you're watching this and if you're interested in a pre broken in wallet, this is the craft and lore port wallet. Um, I believe the stitching used to be olive green It's starting to fade to like a brown sh color. Uh, I'm going to list this for, let's say a hundred bucks. Now, why would I sell it for more than what it's worth? It's a uh, heirloom piece now. It's been around for more than four years. It's completely broken in, really soft, supple leather. So uh, help me fund my new wallet and you as well. You can get one of these wallets. So first person to comment in the comment below uh, that you're willing to pay $100. We'll reach out and do an exchange. So thanks for watching, everyone.